Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Carol. I wanted to introduce myself to you in case you were thinking about having piano lessons with me. And I wanted to talk with you about some of my teaching methods. And I wanted to give you a brief demonstration of how I might teach a basic concept like a scale or a warm up exercise. to tell you about was how excited I am about teaching piano students. My passion to teach and share what I know about playing the piano comes from my experience as a child. At seven years old, I was taking formal piano lessons. I ended up going to college and majoring in piano performance. Performing in Europe came next for me after competing as a classical pianist. Now, I write my own solo piano pieces. I want to inspire my students to do the same. Fall in love with practicing and playing the piano. Find your own musical voice and reach for the stars. In case you're wondering, I do have a master's degree from Teachers College, Columbia University. Just to give you a little bit about my experience, my favorite college piano teacher graduated from Juilliard, and both my grade school piano teacher and my undergraduate piano professor graduated from Columbia University Teachers College. It's because of my teacher's inspiration and encouragement that I came to New York City too. They believed in me and they thought I had what it took to make it in New York. Once I arrived in New York, I began to follow in their footsteps. I discovered that it was because of Dr. Robert Pace, Professor Emeritus at Teachers College, that I learned to play the piano well using the Pace method. I now try to share this method with my students who want to study a multi-key approach. Some of the methods I use include a combination of the Pace method, Alfred, Bastian, Hal Leonard methods, and recently the Helen Marley method for succeeding at the piano. For students that are really serious about achievement and study, I'm able to work with them to take the ABRSM exams. That's the Associated Board of Royal Schools of Music exams. Sometimes parents want to give their children the experience of setting high musical goals, working toward musical deadlines, and reaching a high standard of achievement at the piano. ABRSM works well for this. For students who want a more recreational and fun approach to playing, I can offer those methods for them too. When we come back, I'm going to tell you about my lesson style. Back in a moment. Recreational music making is alive and well. I just remember coming across my first piano teaching experience where students wanted to abandon the printing page and just sit down and play from their hearts. For them, 
It was all about learning to play by chords and by ear. This approach changed my initial teaching style dramatically. I found myself with, believe it or not, a roster of 80 students. They were mostly adults who mostly wanted to play for fun. Hymns, gospel tunes, folk songs, patriotic songs, holiday music, and happy birthday. Nowadays, I approach music as either fun or serious. For the recreational music maker, I can help open up a whole new world by working at your own pace. For the students who want to play scales, arpeggios, finger exercises, Mozart, Beethoven, Chopin, and Brahms, I can set up a plan that will move them toward that goal. I see myself as a flexible, fun, and firm teacher. Now what I'd like to do is to give you a short demonstration of how I might teach you to play a scale on the piano. So let's say you wanted to learn how to play a C major scale. This is C. For the first time, you would play the right hand only. Then the second time, you would play the left hand only. For the third time, play hands together. For the fourth time, play hands together either lower or higher than written. And then we may even try something called contrary motion. That's fun. And then for an extra challenge, I like to challenge my students to close your eyes and play hands together. Thank you so much for tuning in to my welcome video. I hope that that gives you some idea of how it would be as a piano teacher. And I look forward to seeing you in my studio.